Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire romance physical TBR and physical TBR just means all the books that I physically own within my personal library that are on my to be read list. Not my ebooks, not my audiobooks, just books that I physically can hold in my hands. And I wanted to make this video because February, the month of love, Valentine's Day, I thought this would be perfect to make a romance type video. And then how perfect is it that my entire romance TBR is all black romances? perfect for Black History Month. So it all just ties in together perfectly. Very, very happy about that. Like these are literally all the romance books that I need to read, that I own, and they're all Black romances. I just love that for me. Okay, so yeah, I do not know the synopsis for majority of these books or any of them really. So this will be a nice quick video. Um, yeah, you guys can go on Goodreads, look at the synopsis. I like to not know what books are about. I like to go in just completely not knowing anything. The reason why I feel deep in my soul that I will love these books is because they were recommended by people that I trust within the book community. I'm like, if they love it, I'll most likely love it too. And if I don't, that's fine. You know, I could sell the book or something so or give it away. But yeah, so I'm very excited for these books. I'm going to read them throughout the year or within these next few years. I always feel like you read books when you're meant to read them. So I don't force myself to read books in a short amount of time. I'll read them when I'm supposed to. But some of these are on my top priority list of books that I need to read this year. Well, all of them are really, but I'm just not that fast of a reader. So that's why I'm saying I'll drag this out for a few years. Anyways, whatever. Let's get into the books that I have to show you. Okay, so first I have Honey and Spice. This book I feel like is going to be one of those literary fiction romances. Like I feel like the romance is going to be a subplot, but I really don't know. I have no idea what this is about. But look how beautiful this cover is. I hope the sun isn't ruining it, but this cover is just so pretty. The oranges and the pinks. I just love it. And it says, sweet like plantain, hot like pepper. They taste the best one together. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but we'll see once I read it. So yeah, very excited about this. I've heard nothing but great things. Next, I have Only for the Week. This book I have heard a lot about. Like people seem to really love this, but I'm definitely going to try and read this in spring or summer because this is going to be the vibes, okay? Like this is giving vacation romance vibes. And I think that's what it is about. Like well, I don't know if that's what it's about, but I think they're in a vacation like setting, like a nice tropical setting. I think she might be a bridesmaid, but I could be mixing up books, so I'm not sure. But very excited to read this. And this one says, what happens in Tulum stays in Tulum. Okay, so yeah, another beautiful cover. I actually really, really do love this cover. Very much summer vibes. Next, I have... Sinful Vow. Yeah, this is a Mafia Misfits. Oh, this book is from the Mafia Misfits series. And this is book one. Very excited for this. I read the first couple pages like a few months ago. I cannot wait to read this. It seems very interesting. I think I'm definitely going to like it. I love a good Mafia book. I just started getting into Mafia books last year and I didn't even read that many. But the few that I read, I absolutely enjoyed it. And I think I'm going to love this too because it's black romance. It's black mafia romance. I'm very, very excited for it. Yes. Okay, so next I have two books that are within a romance series. I don't have two of the books in the series because I just didn't care to own them. I know that's kind of ridiculous, but I'm the type of person like, if it's a contemporary romance interconnected type of series, I don't mind not owning every single book in the series. I don't know, that's just how I am. So I only have the second and fourth books, and it's this series here. Hold on. I'll have the first and third book up on the screen so you can see, because I forgot the name of the series and I forgot the name of the first book. But yeah, so the first and third book you see here on the screen somewhere. And those two books are about the same couple, and then the third, and, I mean, the second and fourth books are about two different couples. Yeah, I don't think this is about the same couple. Yeah, I think these are two different couples. And only the first and third book follow the same couple. Are you following me? I feel like I'm not making sense. But whatever, you get my drift. Anywho, I just love these two covers more than the other two covers. So that's why I wanted to own these two physically. And I know it's like I don't have the whole series physically, so should this count in the video? I think it should still count because I have two of them. But yeah, I love these covers. They're so pretty. 
again I hope the sun isn't ruining this I hope you can see it properly but yeah very very pretty covers I love it I can't wait to read it this one is called colliding with fate and this one is called a worthy love so yeah very excited to read those and I believe audiobooks are coming out for this entire series I think the first audiobook for the first book is already out and the second book might be out by now or it's coming out this month or something it's coming out very very soon so I might just wait until all the audiobooks are out for this entire series and then read it then yeah very excited okay so next I have an interracial romance it's called Mickey Chambers Shakes It Up so it's black woman main character and then this is the romantic interest um yeah so this seems like it's gonna be a rom-com that's the vibes i'm getting from it again i do not know what this is about i won this book on a goodreads giveaway which i was very happy about because i never win goodreads giveaways ever so i was very very happy to win this and i thought it was perfect like oh, a black woman main character this was the one i was meant to win so yeah definitely giving rom-com vibes definitely giving like food type vibes like maybe someone works in a restaurant or something I don't know we'll see next i have before i let go which is the first book in a new series the second book is already out i don't own the second book yet though but again beautiful beautiful cover i already know that this book is going to be more of a serious heartbreaking type of romance because the author kennedy ryan that's the type of romances that she writes the sun is starting to get in my eyes that's the type of romances that she writes very much heartbreaking stuff um but books that really truly teach you about love like if you are one of those people who have had some crazy romances and you're just like you know whatever i think you should read kennedy ryan's books because her books teach you what love is and what it isn't and i just i just think her books are very healing like they may tear your heart out but in the end you are going to feel healed you're gonna feel like a brand new woman and you're gonna know what to demand within a relationship definitely read kennedy ryan if you haven't already if you want serious like realistic romances that like I said will break your heart she is the author to read but again you will feel healed okay so yeah you'll cry but it'll be good in the end so I'm excited for this because her writing is just top tier okay so next I have the extension to a duology series so let me just show you the duology first so I have Heartbreak You and Heartbreak You, the finale. I've read these books already. I've raved about them everywhere because I love this duology so much. It's a college romance duology about four girls. They're all roommates and they all have different romances going on and their own personal stories and personal healing journeys. Anywho, um, yeah, so I love this duology. It's new adult, like I said, college romances. And after finishing this, I was like, I needed more. I needed more about these girls. I needed to know what happens after everything and the author delivered okay so we have the third book there's always hope which is about one of the girls and then we have seeking asha which, which is about one of the other girls and the third and fourth books have not come out yet i'm very excited for the third and fourth books because well i guess technically it would be the fifth and sixth books anyways those last two books are about two of my favorite girls but anyways i am very excited so yeah, this will follow them after college, I believe. Yeah, because in the end, I think they were all done with college or maybe almost done or something like that. But yeah, very, very excited for the continuation of this series. I highly, highly recommend it. If you haven't read this series already, you definitely should. So next I have another mafia romance. I don't know if this one is black romance or if it's an interracial romance. I think it's black romance, but I really don't know. But anyways, this one is called Misguided. I'm very excited for this one. I think this one is an arranged marriage, which I think I like that trope within Mafia books because it's interesting. I don't know. I just like it. Anyways, yeah, I hope you can see the cover. It's getting... The sun is moving over. So, but yeah, also love this cover. Very beautiful. But yeah, very, very excited for this one. I'm just excited for all the Mafia books that I need to read, the ones that I don't own included because Mafia books to me give fantasy romance type vibes but without the magic like it's definitely look at her and i'll kill you and just like in a fantasy they will literally kill you in a mafia book okay i mean we don't promote that but like we kind of love to see it okay in a book not in real life <laughs> did i say this early in the video there's kids you know outside i don't know i don't know if i said that already but there's kids outside they're loud please ignore anywho 
Um, so I think that is it for, oh no, no, I have another rom-com. Okay, so we have The Dating Playbook. Don't know what this is about. I think this is, is this fake dating? I don't know. I think the, oh, ignore the sticker, but I think the guy is a football player maybe? Not sure, but yeah, I just know it's a rom Oh, okay, it says two best friends, one fake boyfriend. What? What does that mean? Okay. Interesting. Two best friends, one fake boyfriend. Love never plays by the rules. That's what it says. Whatever. I'm excited. For some reason, I really think I'm going to like this one. I don't read that many rom-coms, but every rom-com I read, I usually like. Usually. Um, and I love that she has braids. Cornrows. So, love that. Okay, so now I'm done with all of the adult books. I do have a few YA books that I want to show you. And I haven't read YA in a minute, so I'm very excited for these. So for YA, I have Charming as a Verb. I was gifted this book, very happy about it, very excited for it. And like I said about all the books, I feel like this is a book I'm really going to love. It says, He Could Charm Anyone Until Now. We love it. We love it. We love it. I did read the first chapter, I think, or the first few pages, and so far so good. But yeah, I believe he goes... I don't know. I know he owns his like, own little business in the neighborhood for walking dogs, but that's all I really know. Um, yeah, it's a high school romance. Contemporary romance, so I feel like it's gonna be a lot more other things going on within the plot, not just the romance. So yeah, that's how YA usually is, anyways. It's like contemporary romance, so there's like a plot, like a little mini plot going on, not just the romance is the focus. So yeah. Next, I have Love Radio. This one I am very, very excited for. I, I need to just hurry up and read all these books because I just know that they're gonna be so good, and I know that I'm missing out. But yeah, I love the cover. I don't know anything about this one either. I think. He's the youngest person in his town to own a radio show, something like that. Again, I could be mixing up books, but I, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what it's about, but I think one of them owns a radio show. I think it's him, or maybe both of them do, and that's how they meet. Who knows? But yeah. YA, contemporary romance. You love to see it. And look at the cover. So pretty. All right, so last but not least, we have Confessions of an Alleged Good Girl. And this is by the same author who wrote Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry, which is one of my favorite books of all time. Not just one of my favorite YA books, one of my favorite books ever. So I definitely need to read the rest of her books. I think she has this book and one other book. Does she have another one coming out? I don't know. But yeah, I need to read this. I believe the main character... Actually, you know what? I don't know enough to say anything. So <laughs> we will see what this is about when I finally read it. But yeah, again, very excited. Very excited for all of these books. So yeah, um, so that's it. The sun is really getting in my face. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you later.